Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about online ordering with Scrip and how to get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is send the following information to Scrip at stbernardcong.org. You're going to want to put your name, the best email to reach you at, and then your preferred username. Once you receive an email, there will be an account set up for you on shopwithscript.com to place online script orders. So it'll say your username, and then you'll receive a second email with a link to access your account and set up a password. So I received another email with the temporary password. So then you'll see this part right here that says click here to set up your password and add security questions so you can log in. So I'm going to click on this link. I'm going to put in my username. and then the temporary password. And I can see all of this information from the emails. And then I'm just putting in this verification code. And then I'm putting in security questions. And then I'll just be putting in a new password. And now I'm logged into my account. So then if you'd want to set up an online payment um, through a bank account, you can pay for your orders with the electronic fund system so that you don't have to write out any checks. So to sign up, you'll just log on to your shop with script account like we are right now, and then click on dashboard. So we'll go right up here, click on dashboard, and then we will go to the payments type link on your dashboard. So it'll be down here. You will add your bank account information on the Shop with Script Secure website. So you can either do it, you see you have two options here, you can instantly link a bank account. So selecting your bank from a list and then your banking credentials and then create a pin or you can manually enter the account numbers if you know them. There is an online payment transaction fee. A 15 cent fee is added to your order total each time you pay with a bank account. It's 15 cents no matter how much money the order is. Your order can include e-gift cards and physical cards on the same order. The fee would still be 15 cents. You can also pay for your online order with a credit card and a 2.6% fee is added to your order total each time you pay with a credit card. You'll have instant access to e-gift cards and reloads. So if we wanted to shop on here, we can go to shop up on the top. You can find what you'd like. There are so many options. You can search $10 and under. You can search books, books and music, children and teens. Um, so there's so many you can even search. So say I wanted to search for, I can't think of anything, McDonald's. So a McDonald's $25 debit card. So you'll see it's grayed out because there's only a $25 option on this. You can choose how many. So say I just want one. The total would be $25 and I can add it to cart. So then when I'm all done shopping, I could, I could pick more if I wanted to, so I could go back to browse um, and then look around and if I wanted something else. But otherwise I can go to my cart. And then here you can select your payment type. So you can either do it through a credit card, which we talked about, where there is a 2.6% fee. You can do it through a bank account. Um, if you had set that up, you'd have to go and set that up though, like we had talked about in order to do that. And then you have the option of doing a check, which is given to the coordinator. However, giving a check to the coordinator is not recommended because then the order will not be released until the payment is received by the coordinator. So then it just takes longer. So we definitely do recommend just doing it through a credit card or through a bank account. If I were to select credit card, that's where you'd put in the credit card address. You have a choice to save the credit card. 
um, then you can see your rebate total, so how much would go actually to St. Bernard. And that is how you shop with Scrip Online.